For me dealing with the stress, for me dealing with the pain Getting tired, you're trying to find a way Cause I just wanna be alive Cause I don't think that I just wanna go and die today When I used to think to myself, yeah why am I What's up, what's down, what is all around What is good, YouTube, it's your boy Groovy Grizzly back with another video and as you can tell we're back to playing some more arc survival evolves we got a really good one today so today is going to be more of like a tutorial style video slash gameplay what we're doing today is we're actually going to do our first artifact caved which is awesome so the plan is is we're going to take berry scary berry here we're going to take uriah saber and terrorizer and we're going to go into the cave and we are going to get ourselves our very first artifact unfortunately we can't just pick up scary berry and fly away because argentavas can't pick up these boys anymore so what we're going to have to do is we're actually going to have to run there on foot with our dinos which shouldn't be a problem because well we got a mad pack over here, baby. But before we leave here, this is what you're gonna need to do. So I'm gonna give you a little look. I'm gonna give you a little look at my inventory. So on my inventory, I have 600 fiber, 200 hide. I have a couple of arrows. I'm gonna get more arrows inside of the artifact cave, so I don't have to worry about that. You don't need the thatch. I just didn't take it out of my inventory. You're going to need some flint, some stone, and some wood. The reason for that is because my torch is going to break while I'm making this video, and I'm going to need some resources so I can repair it. And then the fiber and the hide is what you're going to need to repair your armor because it may break because of Arthropleurus. And if they break, you repair it with fiber and hide. Most of them require fiber, which is why I have so much more fiber than hide. Some of them, I think, like the gloves. Yeah, the gloves, the shoes... Uh, they require hide for it to be repaired. Also, make sure before you leave that you put enough food into your dino's inventory. By the time we get there, they're not going to need any more food. I put a ton of fish meat inside of Scary Berry because all they eat is fish. So I just put a ton of it in there. But you're not really necessarily going to even need 40 in each dino for the meat. I just went ahead and put a stack in there just in case. But while you're doing the caves, you're going to find plenty of meat in there. So it won't be a problem at all. So the sun's starting to set and it's starting to become dark. And I don't like to go out into the woods when it's dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until the sun comes up. And then we're going to start a little convoy here all the way to the very first artifact cave. See you in the morning. Good morning. All right. Let's get this show on the road. All right, boys. Let's rock and roll. All right, guys, so we kind of made it to our destination a little bit. I'm kind of going to show you how to easily find this area. Real simple. So if you look on the map, right between 80, about 82 latitude and about 48 longitude is about where I'm at. So it's right across the river. It's going to be on the bottom island, right where that peninsula is on the very bottom. Real simple. So you're going to see like a little opening right over here. Here. There's usually like sarcos and stuff here. There's a sarco down that way and right on this opening What you're gonna do is you're gonna go straight up on this opening I'm Sure, they're following us. So you're gonna kind of run through the forest. You're gonna have to run past some of these rocks here That are gonna be on your way Just kind of keep running through here And then right here at the bottom, kind of starting to get into another opening right over there. You're going to kind of see a little bit of a ledge, which is right here. Make sure that they're following us. Terror bird is missing. There he is. All right. So we're going to kind of jump down here. And right where this little pathway is, if you run down this pathway, generally there isn't anything dangerous here. You might find raptors from time to time. But there's not really anything here. And if you just run down this way, if you continue going that way, you're going to go into another opening. But right here to the right is where the cave is. Awesome. Real simple. Nothing really complicated. Real simple to find. So one thing that I kind of, if you've never played this game before, and if you're going in there with just one dino, I would recommend building a little shack right outside right here on the cave and putting a bed in it just in case you die while you're in there. So you can just run back in and gather your stuff and try to hop on your dino because the arthroplora when they shoot you they can kill you even while you're mounted on your dino it's happened to me before all right it's not fun 
But what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to go into the cave. So what I'm going to do is right here on the floor, right by the entrance, is I'm going to put just a bed right there. Boom. So that way, if I die, I can just, I'll just respawn right here on this little bedroll instead of having to run all the way back from my base, all the way back over here, because that's no fun. Now, if you're playing online and if you're playing on a server, a lot of servers will not allow you to build anything inside of the caves. The only reason why I can do this is because I have settings set up to where I can do this, where it's not a problem. But I definitely recommend putting a bed no matter what. These are really easy to make. I think it only takes fiber and hide. Real simple, and it's like next to no fiber and no hide, so it doesn't hurt to just go ahead and make it. I keep my dinos on neutral as well. I don't keep it on aggressive, so that way they don't just run off and start attacking random things all the time. All right, so once you're inside the cave, what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of run down this way. And the cave is kind of self-explanatory. I'm going to pull my torch out so that way you can see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my torch actually on the saddle of my baryonyx, so that way if I have to shoot anything, I can just pull out my crossbow without having to worry about not being able to see anything. It's another thing you can do. You can kind of attach torches to saddles. A lot of the dinos you can attach. I don't know if it's all of them, but you can do it to a lot of them. All right, and since this is kind of a tutorial video, I'm not going to do a whole lot of cuts. I'm going to try to talk as much as I can. I'll cut out the awkward silence parts, but there's not going to be as much editing on these at all because I kind of want to just film through the whole thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of run down this way. It kind of just takes you one path. There's not multiple paths to go to until you get to like the danger part of that cave. So right here, you see right where you where that green glow is right there on the bottom generally there's always a magalania right on top of that roof and magalania is if they jump down on you it's going to give you mega rabies and if you're not high enough level mega rabies can kill you really fast so what i'm going to do is oh boy terrorizer you son of a bitch lazy bastard where is he where are you terrorizer where is he look at him also, if you come in here with different dinos, it's maybe not best to just run through the cave because they will kind of cluster themselves up. Anyway, so this is what I'm going to do. Since the Magdalena is right over there, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to send my dinos right over there if I can. Boom. There you go. So that way, if he hops down, he's going to hop down on them and he'll easily, they'll just easily discard of him so that he doesn't hop down on me and give me Mega Ravis. Cool. So once you're in here, there are two separate ways you can go. You can go to the left or you can go to the right. The left path is where the artifact is going to be. The right path is going to be where you're going to find a lot of XP crates and loot crates. So we're going to go to the right first and then we're going to come back to the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send these guys through this tunnel first. I'm going to always keep them in front of me just in case a Magdalena tries to jump down on top of me. It can be a little finicky at times, but nothing too bad. All right, so right here, this is the this is the opening to the, I'm gonna call this the first chamber, the right chamber. This is gonna be where the artifact is not. This is gonna be where the XP loot boxes and stuff like that are. You have to keep an eye up when you're running through here because there are also Magdalenas on the roof around here as well so magdalenias are probably going to be the most dangerous thing on this thing on this map because generally they're the only things that will be able to kill you right away so i'm going to send them in the middle and then i'm just going to let them do their thing and attempt to kill all those little things there and i'm going to hop in and help generally they can easily disperse all of these except for the arthroplora they're the most pain in the ass things on here but my terror bird and my saber tooth is good enough level to where they can kind of make short work of this stuff. And there you go. Now they're just going to run around and just eat everything. Because they're hungry. And they're fucking savages, baby. Real simple. So going with two of them is never a bad thing. I'm going to move them over there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop out and I'm going to grab some of these uh, bags. Oh, see that right there? There's a Magdalena literally right there. He could have hopped on me. If I walk directly below that, he'll hop down on me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my dinos right there. Okay, he's not hopping down. So if they don't hop down, real simple fix to that is you just grab a crossbow, aim at him, and shoot. And he'll hop down. And then he'll come right at you. Bang, there you go. So the thing about Magdalena is like once you get the jump on them, it, they won't kill you. They're, it's pretty hard to get killed by them because they're not really that powerful. 
But if they get the jump on you, they could give you Mega Rabies and then you'll die if you're not high enough level. If I was to get Mega Rabies on this character, I'll be fine because I have 400 HP. I think the Mega Rabies would do 300 or maybe 350. I'm not totally sure. I'm not 100% sure. I'll put it somewhere on the screen here what the actual number of damage is for the... For the mega rabies because it's a time thing so you take damage over time basically is what it is so we're kind of safe to hop down right now we're going to just kind of open up these see if there's anything in here i'm going to take this you're going to need this for the bosses so you may as well just grab it so always try to grab the venom and stuff like that if you can all right they have a ton of stuff on them so you kind of have to be cautious about their inventory i kind of don't want them to gather any meat though so i'm going to empty these out Boom, and that takes care of that. Oh, they also leveled up. On this guy, ooh, he took a good bit of damage. On this guy, I'm just going to pump up his health because I want his health to be at 5,000. Same thing with this guy. 5,000 is ideal. I'm going to force him to eat some of this meat. Also, if you don't want, if you want to set it to where they're not gathering a bunch of meat so you don't have to clear their inventory all the time, all you got to do is just hold E. I think it's X on the, on the Xbox controller. Go to Harvest Settings. And then just disable victim item collection and disable resource harvesting. Resource harvesting for the cat would be, or for the saber tooth would be meat and hide. I don't want them to get any more meat or hide out of dinos or creatures. So I'm going to turn that off. Same thing with the terror bird. I'm going to turn that off. All right, they're all ready to go. I'm going to send them over there because there's a spider right over there. Let them go to town on it. And then come in for the cleanup job. Cool, cool. Also, right here on the main chamber, there are two different paths that you can take. You can go straight down that way or you can loop around. I'm going to go ahead and just loop around. But you could just go straight down that way. And it takes you, they both take you to the same direction. And also, right here, there's an XP box. And the XP box for this, Capra Suckers. Boom. And it just gives you some good XP. All right, the boys. She like to keep them in front of me. I just don't want no Magdalena jumping on top of me. You don't have to do this. I just hate jump scares. <laughs> so I do this instead. That a baby. All right, boys, moving forward. Marching forward. Boom, there you go. And this is another reason why I wanted to come this way is because there's usually a loot box, right? Well, not usually, but at time, from time to time, there's a loot box over here. And I like to make sure I grab it. And Arthoplora. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Let's go to work. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Another really easy way to just get rid of all the meat is just type in raw and then just get rid of it that way. Boom. Pump up his health. This bad boy right here is going to get a ton of XP doing this cave. Let's see what the loot box has for us. Dog shit. This isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. But this is fucking dog shit. But we'll take it. Going to put on our booties, baby. Let's go. All right. Moving forward. All right, so through here, you have to be a little bit more careful because there's water over there. If they fall into the water, there's sarcos. Not that they can't handle the sarcos because they definitely can, but they can't swim very well. So if they get attacked by sarcos, they're not going to try to fight back. They're just going to sit there and take the punishment and die. I believe that's a Magalania right up there. It is not. Sure looks like one, though. All right. There often is a Magalania around here as well. So you do kind of have to be careful a little bit. Sometimes they're on that wall over there, so you don't have to worry about it. But sometimes they're right up here around the corner. I don't want my guys to get pushed into the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to shoot that scorpion and pull him towards me. Okay, I lied. I'm having a hard time hitting them. So I'm just going to send them over there. Cool. And then once they aggro, I'll pull them back. And then I'll let... As soon as they come kind of close to me, I will chow them down like a savage oh it's only one scorpion thought it was gonna be more than that and he's dead 
Real simple. All right, move them over there. Don't see any Megalania, but that doesn't mean that there isn't one. I think we're good. Short work, baby. Short work. Let's go. All right, we're going to kind of run through here a little bit through the side. And here comes some Titanoboa. Insisting on attacking the boys. But it didn't work, so. We're going to send them over there. We're going to let the Titanoboa attack me instead. And then we'll run over here and help out the boys. Boom, shakalaka laka. Come over here, boys. All right, so I'm going to hop on my saber tooth. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get on this with the saber tooth. So that way the saber tooth gets the XP for it. And there should be three of these in this cave, I believe. So the next one will be with the terror bird. Holy crap, that's blinding. Let's go, boys. All right. So now we're going to send them forward in front of us. Keep it moving, boys. Keep it moving. Get over there, Uriah. What the fuck are you doing? All right. So in this chamber here is where the last box is. I believe. I don't think there's another one. And I'm just going to hop on it with Terrorizer. And boom. There you go. Leech. I think looks creepy as fuck in this game. Can you imagine if they put like gigantic leeches in this game instead of the ones that we do have in this game god it'll be fucking terrifying all right and now we're just gonna run through on back oh so remember when i told you the roads diverge so that's where we were at where that magalania was on the top that didn't jump down and that's where we came from so you just kind of run through here it's the same fucking thing oh as a matter of fact speaking of magalania there's one right up there see him right over there Hanging upside down. Just waiting to pounce on something. I'm not going to take him down because there's no point. He's just going to fall in the water. Sometimes there are more Magalanias hanging about right over here. So it doesn't hurt to be careful. I don't think there's any over here though. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Cool. And now we just kind of have to run back through here. I'm going to set them to follow me. Come on, Uriah. Let's go, motherfucker. Uriah just wants to be a lazy cocksucker today. Come on, Uriah, you little bitch. Cool. And now I'm going to send them forward this way. So this is going to... Now we're going into the chamber where the artifact is. So we're going to send them forward. We're going to get attacked. No big deal. I think over here is just scorpions and snakes. Nothing crazy. Then we'll just go to town on these boys. Munchity munch munch motherfucker. Boom. There you go. We'll move them over here. For now. So there's two ways you can go. You can go to the right or you can go to the left. They all lead to the same path, basically. So if you go to the left over here, you have to jump down. And there's just a bunch of spiders and snakes and stuff like that down there. Uh, actually, I don't see them down there right now. Oh, there you go. Yeah, a bunch of spiders and snake down there. Oh, they're fucking hidden in the fucking walls, little bastards. If you go the other way, it's going to still take you down there, but you just go a different path. And it's, and it's a path that you can take to find more loot crates. There you go. Now his health is at 5,000, so now I'm going to pump into his melee. I haven't found a situation where I need more than 5,000 HP before, so... Oh, Arthroplora. Trying to get to me. And now we munch. Now we munch, boys. Now we munch. I don't know why they jumped down there. It's weird. Hope he's not stuck now. He probably is, though. Ah, uh, they're fucking stuck now. So I have to get them unstuck. Boom. Okay, I got one unstuck. All right, in situations like this, I think it's a perfect time for me to show y'all another little tutorial if you get stuck on anything like this which is unfair just do tab and then type in fly and you'll be able to fly with your dino whoop goes a little too fast and then once you're out of the spot just type in walk and then it goes right back 
to it. That's just the game being fucking stupid at that point. It's not like cheesy or anything like that. I'm just getting my dinos unstuck and I just couldn't get Uriah unstuck. Come on, Uriah, quit being lazy. You look at him, just won't stop eating. Fucking bastard. Okay. There's some shit. Uh, 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 Over here, boys. Over here, boys. I'll take care of this. I just don't want them to fall into the water because the water is like right over there. So I'm trying to keep them from attacking him. All right, let's go, boys. So I've never seen any Magellanias on this side of them of the cave, but I could be dead ass wrong. So I'm not going to sit here and say that there isn't any Magellania on this side of the cave because there very well could be. Come on, snakes. What you got? Show me what you're working with. Show me what you're working with. Show me what you're working with. Honk, bitches. Honk, bitches. All right, here comes the rest. Here comes the mighty team. I'm going to shoot this scorpion. And just make them come. There you go. There you go. It's always a little tricky. Trying to get these guys to a attack right something in the wall ain't there sure is all right so this is the secondary chamber so you could go through that crack you see that little thing right on the ground that's the artifact down there you could go through there but you can't fit in there with the dinos there's another way you could go though that could fit in through with the dinos so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull that spider and that spider is going to come with some friends. So that way we can go ahead and kill them. There we go. Popped him. Right in the booty hole. Oh, he's actually running. So, oh, uh, I think it's because he can't fit through there. So he's going to try to go around the other way. Which is fine. What we're going to do is we're just going to send our guys through here. And we're going to kill whatever's down here. Which should be Arthoplora, spiders, maybe some snakes. Yeah, there we go. And then we're just going to come down here and help him out. Come on with it, motherfuckers. Come on with it, motherfuckers. Come on with it, motherfucker. Come on with it, motherfucker. And they're dead. Oh, that guy came from nowhere. That would have been bad. I just hopped out of him, out of my dino too. Could have been really bad for me. All right, cool. So the acid that the Arthropleura spits out, it doesn't affect your dinos. It literally only affects you. So you don't really have to worry about anything happening to your dinos when they get spat on. So when you got to be really careful when you hop out of your dino in these caves because for some reason the game will hide creatures inside walls to like surprise you. So that's why I'm like so cautious whenever I'm doing anything off of my dino. Oh, nice. Oh, there we go. We got our first middle pickaxe. Finally. I was looking for that for so long. Finally, something dropped it. I don't have to waste resources on it. Come on, vominoes, boys. Everybody, let's go. All right, and we're on the final stretch. So we're going to go this other way instead of the way that we originally went because, you know, you can't fit through there with the dinos. I could crawl my way through there, but I don't feel like getting hit by anything and possibly dying and wasting my time. So I'm just going to go this way, so that way I can go in there with a the dino. With a dino. Oh, and I'm getting spat at by spiders and shit. Typical. Nothing we can't handle, though. See what I mean? Those things came straight out of the wall, so... The game, I feel... I'm pretty sure the game purposely does that, just to kind of, like, keep you on your toes in these caves. To just add an extra layer of danger. So with these dinos, this guy won't fit through there. See, he's too, he's too big. I don't know if it fits with a terror bird. I'm gonna try with the terror bird. See how that goes. Terror bird. Up. Oh, yep. Terror bird fits right through. And I know for a fact the saber tooth does as well. So now that I can come in here with my guy, so those snakes are gonna come at me. There's gonna be a couple creatures just kind of rolling around and we're just gonna go to town 
you can back up and just kind of get your dinos involved, other dinos involved in this, but it's not necessary. There you go. I'm actually going to bring the saber tooth with me. Come on, buddy. So there was that spider in here somewhere. I don't know where he went, though. Maybe he just disappeared, went into a wall somewhere. Up oh, there he is. Right here. And there you go. Boom. Easy peasy beautiful cover, girl. And here's the artifact. So this is the artifact of the hunter. I'm going to put that right there in my inventory. And bam. And it's... Just as simple as that. If you want to get more of those artifacts, you can just sit here and wait and they'll respawn over time. But you need an otter to be able to do that. You can't do it with just you. So you'd need an otter so you can put it inside of the otter because you can't carry more than one of those artifacts at a time. And you also cannot put them inside of your other dinos. It can only be carried in your inventory, unfortunately. So we're just going to grab one of those and we're just going to leave it at that so now we're gonna make our way back out of the cave and head back to our base oh and we're home right before the sun's completely set what's up maximus looking all savage like and shit we is home boys all right guys so let's take a look at what we got from the cave so far so we got the artifact of course we got all of this chitin. So if there's one perfect way to get a ton of chitin, it's just by doing the first cave because it's the easiest one to do and you can get a ton of it. Now, keep in mind, this is just what the Barry Onyx was able to collect. Keep in mind that the other two dinos weren't collecting anything because I had the thing set to where it doesn't collect anything. So had I went in there and killed every single one of those creatures and kept all of the chitin, I would have had way more than this. And then we got a good bit of hide in there because of all the snakes that were in there. We got all of these recipes. So we got a total of five recipes. We got two stacks of regular arrows. So doing the first cave is also a great way to just kind of stack up on arrows early on in the game. And then of course we got a ton of meat from in there, but we threw away most of it. And then it's a perfect place also to get some Titanoboa venom and some Megalania toxin, which you're gonna need later on to do some of the bosses and then of course we got a couple armor pieces upgrades nothing crazy we got the mastercraft boots which is the second best type of ranking on all of the armors that you can get we also got some new a new hat we got a new shirt pants and some new gloves so we got a brand new set of armor we got this pike which i won't really need but i went ahead and kept it anyways we got this useless stone pick it is what it is and that's pretty much it and it's so it's pretty good bit of stuff that you can get from those really easy cave like i said before you really don't need to take three dinos in there i only did just to be overpowered and i don't have to worry about anything in there but it's real simple real easy you take a baryonyx in there you can pretty much just dominate everything that's in your path even if you just take a saber tooth in there or a terror bird you can dominate everything that's in your path it's a really easy cave but yeah guys that's pretty much it for today's episode not doing a whole bunch of stuff just wanted to do the cave do a short tutorial short ish tutorial on it i mean when you do any of these tutorial type videos they have to be a little bit long but hey don't forget if you like this video if you're enjoying the journey that we're going through playing some arc from the very beginning hey make sure that you hit that like button and make sure you smash that subscribe button so that we don't miss any more episodes just like these and of course if this helped you at all if you wanted to find something online that would kind of take you step by step on an easy way to be able to do the first artifact caved hey make sure that you hit that like button really really appreciate it and let me know in the comment section below if i miss anything if there's any better way of doing this which i'm sure there is let me know in the comment section below that's just the way that i do it it's my favorite way of doing it and to me it's the best way of doing it but hey if you know any other way i'm sure there is i'm sure you could take a t-rex in there on parts of the map and or parts of the cave and just go straight to town but i enjoy doing it this way a little bit more and as always thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos have a kick-ass day at whatever it is that you're doing and i will see you guys next time in the arc baby Beep, 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 beep,